Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, today we want to talk about a couple of common uh, command line tools that you may use and how you can use those in PowerShell. A uh, couple reasons for this. The main one is anything with the command line is just coming back with text. You get information that you can read and scroll through, but if you want to interact with it, you probably have to trim down the text somehow, uh, most likely with regex and no one wants to dive into that. Where if you do it in PowerShell, you, you get an object back where you can just grab specifically the information you're looking for. The, the big advantage of that one is, well, if you run like, in, the, in this case, if you run GP result, in PowerShell it will work, it has the alias, but it's going to return not an object, but just the law of text. So it's best to use the, the PowerShell uh, equivalents of, of these ones when you run it. It's just to get more actionable data, it's just handier all around. It is worth noting on this one to get the command lines in PowerShell to work, you have to have the RSAT tools installed in the machine. That's just what gives you the, the group policy pack. I did check uh, online to see if you pull it down. I didn't see it. So it seems if you don't have these, make sure you got the RSAT tools, which is admin. You probably already have those on there, and these commands will be there for you. So the first we're going to look through is the GP update, which it's going to look pretty similar. Instead of just GP update slash uh, forward slash four, so it will be invoke dash GP update. And then we we'll just run that. If we run that one, it's going to do the, the update automatically. You can do a force, I believe, but instead of dash, it's going to be force here, just for, uh, just the dash instead of forward slash force. And then you can run it as a job, which runs it asynchronously, or you have a couple options where you can specify the computer you're going to. You can put in a delay if you need to. Uh, just a few options in there. It does all the same things. Uh, in this case, with the GP update, you're not really going to see results. It's just basically going out there and running that. But just for fun, we'll go and run that one and we'll update our group policy and we're done. Uh, for the next one, the GP result, that's one where we're going to see a little bit more uh, output back because this one we're going out and we're seeing, you know, the, the what, what has been applied by group policy, where instead of GP result, I believe forward slash R in command line, it's going to do in this one, going to be a longer command, but that's where we have the tab for. It's a get GP resultant set of policy. See, I just re and then tab finishes the command for you. And then from there, you can do things where you can specify if you want user or computer policies. If you want both, just don't specify either of those that will go. And then you can export it out as a file type or anything you want. And you can see my GP, uh, my policy is updating. The command works uh, for, for the previous one. So now we're running that one. I didn't give a report type. That was my own fault. Let's stop that one there. So we're going to come in here. I, apparently I missed stop. We're going to do report type. And you can see there XML or HTML. Uh, XML, if you're going to be important in some way, HTML is going to give you a more readable version. And then we'll just put this, I don't know, we'll say on C temp. I'm looking for path. C temp uh, file dot, what did I say, HTML. I'm definitely not just doing this live. That's if that's what you're thinking, that would be ridiculous. All right, and so this one's going to run through. It's going to get all of the policies for user and computer, and it's going to put it the file out there. I'm running this. It's going to run it as who I'm as here is in this case the Kenton. Uh, and as you can see, it's user and computer. That's where if we did dash computer, it only grab computer policy. And if we want to make sure it's there, let's uh, see if I can find it. I put it on C temp, right? All those at home remind me. We're going to open it with Edge because we're cutting edge with our technology. You can see here, here's all of our policy, everything that's in there. It gives you all the information you need right there in a, in a nice report. Uh, another thing you can do on this one, you can specify remote machines where you could run this. You could give yourself an array, list the 10 machines you're looking to go to and do four each. And it's going to grab each one of those, grab you the settings for those ones, make sure what you want is applied is applied and give you all the information there. Uh, so this is just another way. I mean, command line has been great for a long time, but PowerShell is the future. And running the same command type where you get the same information with the PowerShell command is going to give you a lot more control over what it does and, and the things you can do with it. It makes it a bit more customizable. But for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.